Hey, what's up gamers? It's me, Andy, here to talk to you about NVIDIA's DLSS and ray tracing tech. Recently, NVIDIA hit up Tim and asked if somebody from Kinda Funny could make a video not only explaining the benefits of DLSS and ray tracing, but showing off some really cool examples. And, and I said, Tim, I I'm the guy. Put me in coach or I'm ready to play today. And that's exactly what I plan on doing. So let's get into it. I think Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy is one of the better recent examples of not only what great optimization can do for a video game, but just how Nvidia's DLSS and ray tracing can show a lot of those benefits. So let's check it out. I am currently running Guardians of the Galaxy in ultra settings, except for motion blur and radial blur off. I have those two settings off, personal preference. I also have ray tracing off so we can flip it on here in a bit and get that really cool effect going uh, so we can see some real time reflections. I'm a nerd for this sort of stuff. Uh, I haven't been a former game developer. I just I love uh, any sort of visual changes that we can show off. It's really cool stuff. The thing I love about DLSS is that it makes it so you don't have to choose between let's call it the visual triangle. Roger, can you put up a graphic for a visual triangle? On top, we got resolution. On the bottom right, we got frame rate. On the bottom left, we got visual quality. Normally when you're running a game, you kind of have to pick and choose. If you want to run the game in 4K, you will likely have to run the game in 30 frames per second or low visual settings. DLSS makes it so that you don't necessarily have to choose between either of them and it gives you an amazing balance between all three of those things in the visual triangle. Copyrighted Andy Cortez. Whenever you use it, 100 bucks, Venmo me. You'll see right below me, the GPU is maxing out around 75% uh, frame rate. I'm trying to hit 120, but I'm, I'm averaging around 95 to 100, which is really, really dang good. The problem with me though, is that I stream these games. So whenever I do hit a high GPU usage, my OBS, which is streaming the game and recording this video, you'll see the encoding overload warning pop up and then the stream starts to drop frames and suddenly it's a bad experience for the viewers. I'm feeling pretty brave right now. I'm gonna turn on ray tracing because right now what we're looking at is a screen space reflection. It's a, it's a not real time reflection essentially. And what that means is whatever is on my screen will be reflected whenever there's a puddle or a piece of metal down below. But as soon as that object is off screen, the reflection disappears because it's no longer in the viewport. And these things, reflections that you're seeing right here are normally called cube maps. That's not a screen space reflection. That's just a cube map um, that is placed to kind of fake a reflection essentially. Now let's turn on ray tracing and we're likely gonna see my GPU usage shoot up quite a bit. How high can it go? Very high ultra? Oh my God, this is wild. This is a little, this is a little too crazy for me, probably. And as you can see, we turned on ray tracing on ultra with ray trace reflections on and our GPU shot up quite a bit, 99%, 96%. That's pretty dang high. The problem is our frame rate dropped down to 55 frames, 53 frames, 52. We're starting to see a bit of frame stuttering here and there. It's trying to, it's trying to hit 60 and it just can't quite get there because of everything that's running right now. But now you, we see these real-time reflections. Look at the people walking, being reflected on the ground. That's pretty great. It's beautiful, except for the fact that it's just not running super great. Also, the window not disappearing when it's off the screen. It's still there because it's still existing in the world. Now let's turn on DLSS and see what that does. Again, DLSS is going to lower the resolution of the image to about 720p, and then it's gonna use AI to recreate the image and make it look incredibly crisp just like if you were running the game natively in 1440p. Let's run the game in quality mode. So running the game in DLSS quality lowers the GPU usage a tiny bit. However, our frames are back. Our frames are around 50 frames per second before we turned on DLSS. And now we're back up to around 80 frames per second, which is awesome. That's really, really great. Our GPU is still pretty high up there, but we got the frames back, which is really awesome. Um, and that's immediately we're seeing what DLSS can do for you. It makes the game look so much better than what running a game at 720p or 900p would look, but it looks just as sharp as your 1440p image and it runs. Now we're getting 81 frames per second, which is way better than the 50 frames we were getting earlier. 
when we have DLSS off. We could put DLSS on performance mode and we'll see how that changes the GPU usage and the frame rate. And look at that. The GPU usage drops down to 73% and the frame rate is still around 80 frames, 72 frames. So we're getting above 60 frames and the GPU usage drops by a pretty large amount. And as we look at this change, we're still getting ray traced real time reflections. We're still uh, running everything on ultra, but our GPU usage dropped by a large margin down from 98%, 96% of GPU usage down to 72% of the GPU being used. And our frame rate is around 80 frames per second. We're still getting real time reflections. It's a, it's a gigantic performance boost. DLSS is straight up, it feels like dark magic that no human should be able to wield. All right, another great implementation of NVIDIA's DLSS technology is in Arcane's Deathloop. A patch had gone out a couple months ago and I was really excited to go in and check it out. So I'm gonna show you sort of what changes here with DLSS. As you can see on our GPU, we're getting around high 80s of GPU usage, low 90s, pretty high up there. The frame rate staying a consistent low 70s, high 60s, which is pretty nice. You'll notice that everything that's happening in games, it, it's sort of a case by case basis. It, every game is affected differently. Um, so right here, we're still getting pretty decent frame rate, unlike in Guardians when we were hitting the mid 50s uh, frames per second. Here we're getting, you know, low 70s still, but the GPU usage still pretty high. And that's usually pretty fine, but when I'm running other s programs, if I want to run Spotify and have Google Chrome open, uh, maybe playing a video, all of that stuff sort of gets taken into account and you don't want your PC overloading um, like I'm running OBS right now. And I hope there's no frame drops. I think it should be OK, though. We are running Arcane's death loop at mostly very high to ultra settings. We have ray traced ambient occlusion. We have ray traced sun shadows and we're playing it in 1440p natively. And then what we're gonna do is turn on DLSS. And again, what DLSS does is it's gonna take that 1440p image, change it into a 720, 900p image around there. And then it's gonna use AI to recreate the old image to make it look just as sharp as your 1440p native image. And it's gonna look incredible uh, still while getting a lot of performance back. So let's put on DLSS and you'll notice we are still sort of in the low 90s of GPU usage. Let's go to NVIDIA DLSS balanced and our frame rate still kind of high 60s, low 70s. Let's apply these changes and see what happens. I think frame rate will stay about the same, but we're gonna see a decent drop on GPU usage. And as you could see, the GPU usage dropped from low 90s to high 80s percentage down to high 60s, low 70s. And that's pretty wild. Um, and we didn't sacrifice image quality. It looks incredible still. It looks like I'm running the, nat the native 1440p image. Frame rate's still about the same, but getting all of that GPU usage back is pretty damn awesome. Yeah, that's the magic of DLSS, honestly. It's really, really cool. It's a great technology. And I'm even more excited that we're sort of in the infancy stages of it. So to just see this technology continue to evolve uh, it's going to be pretty damn cool to see how it's implemented in the future. So uh, if you like this video, if you learned anything, go ahead and click like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. Leave a comment for the algorithm and we'll see you in another video. Thank you to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video.